Yeah, what's going on, man? This is your math, man. Mr. P for the uh, COVID-19 era, 2020 April quarantine, stay home. You know, stay home if you got to, man, because this 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 disease ain't no joke. It's the, as uh, Trump calls it, the invisible enemy, the scourge. Anyway, um, we're on 1.5 talking about understanding the graphs, and I'm going to use kind of like COVID-19 as a, you know, I don't know how, my, my graph ain't accurate as the real-time graphs, you know, but I'm just trying to make up math problems for students to learn off some, you know. Understanding graphs is where we're at. So, understanding graphs. So, suppose it's like the the COVID-19 case grid for the months uh, from February to August. Um, so, in, in a sense, we know that the, the February cases were climbing from one from February to March, and they was really climbing from March to April, and it was about peaking around April to May. And then it started going down. It's going to start going down in July, and then August is going to kind of level off. And they talk about flattening the curve. They kind of want this to go like that instead of a hill. So flattening the curve means, you know, basically just flattening the curve, making it a straight line. But we can't, eh, it seemed like the cases was adding up so fast. And this is because they were doing a lot of testing, so the cases shot up. But then a number of deaths started prevailing, too, after that. And, and while these cases were shooting up, and now it's more deaths as this go down, but then there's more deaths. So the death line is going to be increasing, but if it was that. But... Uh, we're just focusing on the number of cases. This ain't. This is draw, not drawing the scale, you know. So, <laughs> the uh, this is what the graph looked like. So that's what flattening the curve is. That's what that means. And then what if we, well, what if we have questions like this? What where is it increasing the fastest at? When we look back at the graph, increases the fastest is where the slope is steeper. So it's got to be going up too. So these are going down, and this is leveling off, and these are going up. But see, this right here is going to be the answer because this is where it's like a steep hill. If you put a person to try to walk, this will be steep for them to get up. So wherever's the steepest, so it'll be from uh, March to April is where the uh, where 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 the where the increase and where where it's increasing faster from March to April. <clears throat> And then decreasing, where is it decreasing slower? That means the numbers are going down, but they're still they're 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 going they're going they're going down slower, and that's right here. Now it'd be the numbers would be going down faster, you know, would be would be right here. I mean, if the numbers were taking a dive like from uh, two hundred cases back down to ninety six cases, that's a big drop. So it would go down real fast. But we talking about increasing slow, so that means right here, which is between May and June. So that would be the answers May and June. When is it constant? Constant means it don't really move. It just stay where it's at all the way through the course of a month. So that will be where it levels off here, and that's around July, August. And they was looking at past August, so it should level off at some point and kind of go down and flatten out back out the curve again. So that's your lesson. May is where it peaks at. Where is the peak at? Where is the peak of the mountain? That's the highest point. Well, that's here in May. Uh, that's what they said about around the beginning of May. But now it said the peak is a little little before that. It's about in here somewhere. So, all right. So, that's a look at understanding graphs. 1.5 your math 050. This is your math man, author, tutor, teaching poet. Mr. P, a.k.a. Stanley Pitchford. Lessons on math 050, math literacy. Peace out, no doubt. On to the next lesson. And be safe. Practice that SD6, social distancing six feet, right?